But hey, what does this first round exit mean for the Lakers and crew, bro? Uh, it don't really mean that much for them, cause everybody know that with a healthy AD and a healthy LeBron, that the Lakers probably wouldn't even been in that position. They probably would've been sitting on the first or second seed going into it, so they wouldn't be worried about that. But going into the playoffs, they was already underdogs and. They was having to build they fight their way up into the playoffs and stuff with the playing games and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. They got some pieces that they need to get rid of, like Cal Kuzma. And which one is it? Marcus Hall? Yeah, yeah Marcus Hall. They got him coming off the bench. Yeah, they gotta get rid of them guys and hopefully bring in a point guard that can score the ball so LeBron can do what he what he's been doing, just playing off ball a lot and letting the game just flow by itself and stepping up when he does need to. Because AD's been, he wasn't playing his best when he was playing. And most of the time, he was putting LeBron in a bad position by not being healthy. Yeah, I agree with you. This offseason, it's going to be, it's going to be real interesting. I, I got a real hot take for y'all. Look, I'm going to call it like this. I wouldn't be surprised if LeBron just ups and retires. Just comes comes with a, with a surprise and he retires out of nowhere. And the reason I say that. LeBron's body took a lot this year. It was what? He's 38 now? 36. Year 17, year 18, something like that. 36. His body took a lot this year, and he usually doesn't deal with too many injuries. Now, we all know there's people out there that says LeBron wants to be Jordan, this and that. I wouldn't be surprised to see LeBron retire and come back maybe like two, three years from now, go play with Bronny if he makes it to the league. I personally do not believe that he will, but... Yeah, I can see this happening, but realistically, the Lakers they gotta just they gotta retool this. I mean, this this team just off of the strength of the supporting cast, how they played this year, it was bad. Um, Kyle Kuzma not you know stepping up when he's needed. Alex Caruso not stepping up when he's needed. Playing very good uh, defense and hustling, but I mean, hey, you need those shots to fall in. Kentavious Caldwell Pope, another name. And why go out and sign Montrez Harrell if you're not going to play him? I see you bring in Andre Drummond, but come on now. If you're going to pay the man, play the man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely got to pay him, and they got to bring in more shooters. They 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 missed Danny Green this year. They yeah. they definitely did. And Dennis Schroeder, you would think he was an upgrade over Rondo last year. He goes out there, puts up zero points in game five, I believe. It was just bad. I think they just... I think they just caught a year of bad luck. And if we being honest, the Suns ain't nobody but the Heat all over again from last year. A team that has absolutely no business doing what they're doing, but they're doing it. Just it's like everything, right yeah, everything's just falling in place for them right where they needed to. So I wouldn't be surprised to see LeBron retire, but they got to, they definitely got to retool this whole roster to better equip LeBron as he gets older because he can't keep. Everybody saying, you know, LeBron got to put on this this cape, come save the day. Look, man, he's thirty six. You expect him to go out here and play like he's twenty five? He's going to slow down, whether you like it or not. Yeah, I feel like Father Age, the Father Age, gonna catch up with him, but I don't think he's gonna slow down. I don't see him retiring no time soon. I feel as if like he got about a good six more years in him. And he's gonna consistently average about around 23, 25 points a game like he has been doing. Yeah. For the longest. So who would you say is the favorite to win the West now? 